Have you guys heard of the Alcaburi Drive? <laughs> Alcaburi Drive? Al Al Q Al Q Berry. Al Q Berry? Al Q Berry Drive. Have you guys oh, heard Al-Q- of Al Q Berry Drive? No. Okay. Uh-uh. I heard uh our our good old friend Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about it. Nice. So there's this physicist, his name is Miguel Alcuberry of Mexico, and he conceived the calculations for a theori- theoretical ship that could travel faster than the speed of light. All that a right. human being could sit inside of? Right. Yes. It's a theoretical thing, but he's apparently figured out the equations to make it successful. Okay. This is where it gets trippy because physics say you can't travel faster than the speed of light. Especially human, because you would be like, you you'd know. be juice. Spaghetti. Physics say that you would be, not, it, sh- it just can't happen. Okay. But this ship, this is what it in theory does. It stays still. In the universe, the cosmos travels past it. Oh. How does that make sense? So, here's the thing: it doesn't move, and the cosmos move around it. It creates its own space-time bubble where uh, it, it doesn't defy the laws of physics, yep. and space travels around it. So it, a gravitational wave making a uh, machine. What? Well, hold on. It says so. It would be like, like a gravitational wave making machine that compresses the ocean of space-time in front of it and expands that ocean in its wake. So it's just basically just like sitting still and the cosmos are just going past it. Right. Only so for it, that specific person? That ship. Wow. Whoever's yeah. in the ship, yeah. What? And I forgot to mention, that's what I got, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> no way! It's, it just didn't get here yet. <laughs> it's parked outside. I think it might be in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might have left it back there like I somewhere. Hit park and I got out and then now I can't find it. <laughs> But, but I did get that for you. But they, with this equation, they said that you can travel six trillion miles in the blink of an eye because oh the cosmos, the universe, galaxies are moving that fast. <laughs> six trillion miles in a blink of an eye. <laughs> are you kidding me? No. And it's just, how does it, what is this? What is this? What is it being <laughs> gassed on? What is it? What's powering this thing? The Grinch, the Grinch, the Grinch is glitching. The Grinch is glitching. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I'm just Wait, flabbergasted uh, uh, right now about this whole probably thing. Probably carbon monoxide. Probably. <laughs> that's, why, a- that's why it's good. <laughs> I don't know if this guy, I don't know anything about this scientist that uh, created this thing. I don't know if we've done any background, but I like to imagine you finish that day of work and then you get home and your wife is like, I need you to do the dishes, brother. <laughs> And he's I like, can't. no, but I did, I did a theory. That you, you're not going to believe this. And she's like, no, I get it. i just been running at this all day. And that seems like a, a great. Did we make a ton of money on that like, right this minute? Not yet. No. But did you build the thing? Well, no. No. Okay. I need you to do dishes and take out the trash, Jerry. <laughs> it's a great um, idea, honey. But Thank it you. sounds really neat. Oh, that sounds neat. fun. Sounds like your football team that you <laughs> have, apparently, that uh, is a fantasy thing. I don't know. <laughs> but isn't that a wild idea to think about of... A ship that doesn't move, right? But Time it still moves. travels. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I can't process. And that's also that's witnessing. You're, are you witnessing it? Like, can you actually just stand there and watch this thing move as well? I That'd mean, I don't know about you, but I can't see six trillion miles away. Stop it! If it's standing, <laughs> if it's standing still, what does that mean? I don't understand. It's just it's here, and it creates its own space-time gravitational field around it. Right. So it becomes its own space. That's moving through space. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's crazy. It's kind of like us on the planet. We're moving at however many miles an hour in a circle, but we feel like we're not moving at all. Right. Are we sure he did any math on this or he just used his imagination and said, let's try (laughs) it? Neil Neil deGrasse Tyson was talking about, so it has to be Mm -hmm. somewhat legit, right? That was like just some sixth grader just with like a funny idea. (laughs) Get this. We create our own space bubble. (laughs) And then the universe moves around our space bubble. Wait, wait, and we wait, go wait. six trillion miles in a second. Wait a second. What's gassing it though? <laughs> Carbon monoxide. <laughs> you freaking <laughs> kidding me? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. What's gassing it? Let's freaking go. Probably Capri Sun. <laughs> Um, it does. It does. It does make me think that stuff, though, <laughs> because you're like, they're like, no, we theoretically proved it, and then like, like Einstein has this with like the multiple parallels of reality. Yeah. But then you're like, 
it's it, it to me it could play out like those two like another yeah. 12 year old going I take the math test out to me <laughs> hey, I mean run the numbers sense. again but I'm pretty sure <laughs> <laughs> like how does it end with like a squ- nine square root three I it, it seems like there are parallel universes to me when I run this equation I get the same answer I mean you seem pretty smart so I don't feel like we can argue with you <laughs> you know there is a that there's a theory with time travel and it acts in the same way that if you time travel, you will end up on a different part of the earth mm. because you're going through this space tunnel, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the earth and is the earth is moving still. Yeah. So if like they say that if you go too far forward or too far back, right, you're going to miss the planet. <gasps> dude, that means dude. we could have been successful. And some dude, like the dude who figured it out, just popped back into space and for yeah. half a second was like, dang it. That's <laughs> Well, there's that Vacuumed. last the, word. Yeah. I talked about maybe last 67, episode 67. Time, we talked about time travel. Yeah, yeah. That guy, his name was like Mad something. I forget. But Y Files has a thing about it. But supposedly he did create a time machine. And the only way he could go through it, he had to like create like this tube out of metal or whatever. And supposedly it was successful because like it was in like the 1940s. There was this article of a strange man found in a tube in a (gasps) lake Mm. and he possessed like what appeared to look like a cell phone, but they didn't know what a cell phone was. Whoa. I don't know how credible that is. Hey, don't Don't, Google it. Don't Google it. Don't cancel me. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, take it easy. But yeah, so he got in it. But he went too far back or whatever to where he went like thousands of miles to where he first went into the machine and it. I don't know. That's Time wild, crazy. dude. Time yeah. travel definitely feels like to humans like dogs chasing cars a little bit, don't yeah. you think? So? Like, what are we gonna sure. do? What's the yeah. grand plan here? Yeah. What? What's we all talk about? It. It's all. It's interesting to everybody. Everyone's getting in a tube trying to do it. Yeah. But then you're like, what would you? What's the? What's the plan once you get there? Yeah. Give what me yeah. a good. You give me a good like. What, how, what are we? Gonna do? It's the dog. Dog's gonna catch that car, and then you're gonna be like, "What do you? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? Yeah. Bark you, at it? You got it. <laughs> Scratch it. You can't eat it. You can pee on it, and that's usually <laughs> what they do. <laughs> and maybe that's what we're trying to do. And that's the option. we're trying to go back in time so that we can pee on it. <laughs> that's mine. So ah, butterflies. Butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most important. Ah! As an empty mind. You were martial arts!